3-minute step test. For the performer, position at least one foot away from the step or bench. At the signal go, step up and down the step or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 24 steps per minute. One step consists of 4 beats, that is, up with the left foot, count 1, up with the right foot, count 2, down with the left foot, count 3, down with the right foot, count 4. Immediately after the exercise, locate your pulse and wait for the signal to start the counting. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds. Multiply it by 6. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal ready and go, start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal ready and go, start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. After the test, allow performer to locate his or her pulse in 5 seconds. Give the signal to count the pulse beat. Let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. Scoring. Record the 60 second heart rate after the activity. Push up. For the performer, lie down on the mat. Face down in standard push-up position. Palms on the mat, about shoulder width, fingers pointing forward, and legs straight, parallel, and slightly apart with the toes supporting the feet. For boys, straighten the arms, keeping the back and knees straight. Then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. For girls, with knees in contact with the floor, straighten the arms, keeping the back straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. Perform as many repetitions as possible, maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute. 2 seconds going down and 1 second going up. For the partner, as the performer assumes the position of push-up, start counting as the performer lowers his or her body until he or she reaches 90 degree angle at the elbow. Make sure that the performer executes the push-ups in the correct form. The test is terminated when the performer can no longer execute the push-ups in the correct form, is in pain, voluntarily stops, or cadence is broken. Scoring. Record the number of push-ups made. Zipper test. For the performer, stand erect. Raise your right arm, bend your elbow, and reach down across your back as far as possible to test the right shoulder. Extend your left arm down and behind your back. Bend your elbow up across your back and try to reach or cross your fingers over those of your right hand as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. To test the left shoulder, repeat the same procedure with the left hand over the left shoulder. For the partner, observe whether the fingers touched or overlap each other. If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands. Record the distance in centimeter. Scoring. Record the gap overlap to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. Sit and reach. For the performer, sit on the floor with back, head, and shoulders flat on the wall. Feet are 12 inches apart. Interlock thumbs and position the tip of the fingers on the floor without bending the elbows. Place the hands on top of the cardboard or paper where the tips of the middle fingers are at the top edge of the cardboard or paper. Start the test by pushing the cardboard or paper slowly and try to reach the farthest distance possible without bending the knees. Bouncing or jerking movement is not allowed. 
do it twice. For the partner, as the performer assumes the procedure, position the zero point of the tape measure at the tip of the middle fingers of the performer. See to it that the knees are not bent as the performer slides the farthest distance that he could. Record farthest distance reached in centimeters. Scoring. Record the distance to the nearest point one centimeters.